Well, hello guys, welcome to episode 9 of this Journeyman Save. I'm the Custard Prophet, and we're here with uh, Gotney IF uh, towards the end of the season. So, doing well, doing well. We'll show you some results in a second. We're still top of the league, which is which is very nice, but I wanted to show you the club vision um, because we've got rid of Ragapovich. That's £20 a week off the budget, and look, working within a wage budget, we're on course, so that's good. We've got a B manager performance, all going well. So if you look at the overall performance, um, yeah, B plus in terms of the squad satisfaction, they're all very happy. C with the tactics, they're satisfied with the impact the team's tactics have had in recent matches. Really, really, we're top of the league. You should be quite happy with that. <laughs> the fans are these are hard people to satisfy aren't they well no actually not they're very easy to satisfy very hard to do any better than that god satisfied with the results on the pitch we're top of the league what are you doing right let's have a look at some let's have a look where we are so we played a few games since the last time uh, we were it was Taftea and we won 2-0 which was outstanding so we then played away another really tricky game against Skelaftia uh, we won that 1-0, Hasenbegovic scoring a late, late goal with them having Magnussen sent off. We we pushed and pushed, we brought Nils Frisk on to try and get the winner, the, the forward, and um, we did right, right at the end. And then after all those nice wins, four wins on the trot, we then went and drew against Sandvix, which, you know, why? They're not doing particularly well, we pushed for the win, Nils Frisk got injured, not I'm too bothered about that, but... Um, yeah, we I feel we should have we should have come away with that, and then we'd be in a better position than we are now. Then we played Tim Ra, won that one 0 They're not doing great. Hassan Begovic, another goal. Play, went away to Ossesund. Uh They played better than us here. Hassan, Beck and, uh, Hassan Begovic got himself an, another goal. He's he's doing really really well. Uh, but we we sort of pushed right at the end. weren't able to kind of catch up with them. And then we've just played away at Karuna. And won that 2-0. Uh, Hassan Begovic with yet another goal. And Rami Mansur getting one for him. I think that might be his first of the season. Yeah, first of the season. It doesn't seem like there's a cup competition, which is a bit weird. Um, so today we're playing Bromolia. And what's quite interesting about that, they are third. So it's all tight at the top. Uh, if we lose this against Bromolia, we could end up third ourselves. Umea are playing Patea, who are sixth. So it's it's all to play for today. It could all go for us or against us, and we might end up out of the playoffs and with a sad faces on, but hopefully not. So, okay, let's get into the game. Let us get into the game, because today, my friends, we are going to hopefully get one step closer to to getting this getting this done. This is the really big important game, because if we can win this. That puts us six points ahead of Bromolia with only sort of five or six games to go, which I think would be kind of nice. But the problem with this league is it seems that everyone could be everyone um, at all times. So it's it's kind of a bit hard to predict. Um, right then, we'll see you for the, for the game. Um, we're a couple of days short. So uh, see you in a second. Okay, so this is the team that we are going with. You'll notice that Thielen is out, which is a bit of a pain, but we've got one Yama who can come in, so he's a decent replacement. So we should, we're going to be a little bit reduced back there, but it's not as if we're bringing in a youngster with no experience. So Hasan Begovic up top, as always. Mansur on the left, Jonsson on the right, Folkestone, Harmon and Mareza in midfield, Gunnan on the left, Eriksson on the right at defence, Wanyama and Kiefer are its centre backs, and Ferreira in goal so uh, yeah I think the other thing to point out is the rather scary um, form that Bromoli are in let's just have a little look at that because their form is just mad look at this they haven't lost they've lost yeah they had a bad start to the season so they lost two games they lost two games all season they've beaten us so that's annoying um, but they've had a few draws but that's it that is it. So let's see if we can inflict a defeat on them, because that would be absolutely massive. Absolutely huge, huge, huge game today. A win here would be massive. A loss here would be massive. Uh, a draw, I think, would be massive. So whatever the result is, it's going to be massive. And you're here for it. So that's massive. 
Right, have I bigged it up enough? Possibly. Let's wait for the teams to warm up for the, the next five hours and uh, then we'll get back to playing some football. Oh, they're right here. Okay, so they're playing two up top. That might be a bit of a problem. Uh, and as Frisk's out, we're having to play this um, other lad, Osterberg, who is about the same level, to be fair. But it means there's someone a bit different coming off the bench. Frisk still hasn't scored this season. He had a disallowed goal. I think that was on the ca on the uh, the on camera game, which was disappointing. It was nice nice header, I think. Um, but yeah, that's that's as good as it's got for him this season. I think he scored last season though. Right then. So first highlight, it's Bereza in to Hannon. Oh, I thought we were going to get through there, but we didn't. Ball's back. What is going on here? Lifts. Looks like they're going to play it around the corner. They missed the pass there. That's terrible. It's all going pretty crap at the minute. Mansur plays it through. It's Hassan Begovic. Oh, it's just past the post. It was on his weak foot, I think. I think he's a right footer. Um, but the keeper made a good save. And they get away with that. So, uh, strong start from us. It would have been nice to get on the score sheet early on. But we didn't manage that. They're playing it around at the back, which is probably not a good thing to do. Ha. Huh. Ooh, nicely done. But they've uh, we've got it back. So There's another highlight. Who's going to have it? They don't like the ball over the top. Jonsson. It's in. It's Jonsson. What a signing he's been. Four goals. Youngster. You know, didn't pay. I'm not paying really anything for him. He's just. He's not even on a proper contract. Uh, and he's come in and he's done the business, hasn't he? He has done the business and he's keeping out. Um, Berg, who is the player I brought in to play on that side, which is quite impressive. So we'll continue in this balanced approach and hopefully keep creating some chances. Another another highlight, 12 minutes in, it's Ferreira. Beautifully done. We've got the ball down, ball over the top, they're just not dealing with this. It's Mansur. It's in. It's in. Goalkeeper didn't have a clue what was going on. He didn't even try, did he? Did not even try. We're 2-0 up within 13 minutes, which is ridiculous. Great start to this game. Our left and right sided players doing brilliantly. The ball's over the top working, working fantastically. It could be 3 0. I mean, the easiest chance really was Hassan Begovic's, and he, he missed his, which is, which is a rarity. I think a praise is probably the right thing to be saying at this point. Um, and this is without our best, our best player. So they're, they're playing it out from the back. I mean, that comes straight into our hands because we... Oh, dear God, that was almost into the net. Right, it was still going. Still a highlight, is it? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Anderson, Mr. Anderson. Into Bereza. They Their balls over the top are not working for them. Ours are working a bit better. This is where Q, the ball over the top, works beautifully for them. Ericsson. Over the top again. It's a beautiful ball in there to Johnson. He well, he gets it back. He just about holds on to it. And Ericsson again. Ball in. Hassan Begovic, and it's a real chance. And it's it's two 0 But what a start! What a first half this is. I mean, we're not having a lot of chances, but the chances, the four chances we've had, have been corkers, and they've all come from balls over the top, which we're not really. We're playing short. Well. Not we're playing sort of mixed, aren't we? So um, I, I think the the idea of them playing out the back against us is just not going to work because it, you know, we're set up defensively and then we just break on them. Well, what a start! What a great! What are you going to say? Anything we say now might overcomplicate things. No, it won't. You're an idiot, assistant manager. I'm pleased. Look, they're all happy. How about that, mate? How about that? This assistant manager, this assistant manager, what is he on about? So a great first half. We know it is only 45 minutes of football and there's another 45 to come because that's how football works. So uh, if we just, if no highlights in the second half, I'll be very, very happy because we know they're going to come back at us. Mansur, he's got the ball. Beautiful ball out to Jonsson. Is this going to be another chance for us? It's a corner. I mean, he was on the floor. We could have just walked round him and then crossed it. But 
still a highlight? Or do we think, oh, Hassan Begovic, how has he not scored today? Three clear-cut chances, and I think he's had all of them. Great play, great play. They're fired up, they're happy, but is this a chance to get back into it for the... Um, the team who, I mean, I was expecting a lot more from this team. I really was, but, you know, maybe we're going to see it now. Beautiful ball into Mansur. Brilliantly played. He took his man inside and gun and got a bit of space there. Is it going to come back at us now? Are they going to... But there's nobody there for them. Come on, Ericsson. Don't do something stupid. Just clears it up the pitch. Nicely done. Ball is up in the air but we've got it back again Jonsson ball over the top it's Hassan Begovic again fourth opportunity <laughs> shit he's got the ball back I mean you can't you can't sort of mock his trying really can you but he should have got a goal by now shouldn't he we should be completely out of sight um, I might be a bit annoyed if we aren't, weren't playing if we hadn't scored those other goals Folkestone just Absolutely brilliant. It's Jonsen. Has some no, uh, Bereza there having a shot. Another opportunity. 60 minutes in. We are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All through the pitch. I mean, Hassan Begovic has got himself a 6.1, and that is just for missing a thousand chances. Folkestone now chips it in. Ball has gone out to. It's just straight back to us. Jonsen, don't do anything silly. Just find your man. Um, the ball's going back over the top, is it? It's them. Oh, oh dear. Oh, well, what a mistake! First, really, op real opportunity for them, and it came from an absolute cock up from the centre back there. I mean, what you want to shout is concentrate at this point, isn't it? And that ball straight into Ferreira's arms. Ah, uh, dear. So another chip into the box, is it? Mansur's got it this time. Picking up the second ball. It's Bereza. Oh, keeper has been playing outstandingly for Bromolia. I don't know why I put an I in it. There's no I in it. Bromola. Bromula. Bromula. Right then. Wow. So 70 minutes up. We've, we've not made any changes. I haven't really needed to. Where's the ball coming over the top? Here it is. Hassan Begovic, he's through again. And another save. My God, how many chances are you going to have, mate? How many chances? Wow. Right. I mean, it's certainly the best we played. Um, and it would just be nice to get an absolute tonking against them, wouldn't it? Because we don't... I mean, we still could lose this from this position. That's why I'm not bringing anyone off. But the, the team that's on the pitch at the minute are just outstanding. Right. Little praise them. They're uninterested. We're calm. We're fired up. I mean, I think right at the end here, we will bring on Osterberg. You know, he might get through. They might give him an opportunity. Who knows? Who knows? And we don't know how... Um, the other team are doing so it'll be interesting to see Harmon ball in straight into Onison Onovic what's he doing now just throws it out they're playing the short ball time and time again they finally got through have they <laughs> one Yama absolutely belts it absolutely belts it yeah I mean there's no need for that mate no need at all Right, uh, Johansson, is it still an opportunity? It's banging around in the uh, in the box there. Ericsson's got it out. Ball over the top, it's Osterberg. Osterberg, he's offside, he's offside. Uh, Time-wasting substitution again, I think. We'll bring on Larson. Larson there. And there we go. Right, uh, th this must be it. This must be it. So absolutely stonking performance from the lads. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really thrilled with that. Um, 
if it finishes is it ever going to finish or is this, is this actually an opportunity for them S sort of <laughs> we'll take it that, that must be it that's got to be it so yeah 2-0 win against Bromola and it couldn't have been better could not have been better Shawnee is going to be well happy with that he's um, what's he going to say well done yeah, I'm disappointed. I was impressed with you defending. I certainly was. I wasn't so impressed with um, Hassan Begovic, though. He could have done a bit more, maybe. Well, well done. Well done. Let's see how Umea got on. Did they win? No, they lost. Well, we are now five points ahead. Now, that's the biggest gap that we've had at any point. That is really nice. There's no one really catching up from behind. Although, yeah, Frisky, yeah, they're still two points behind Skeftia, or three points behind Bromola. So I don't think they're going to be a, a problem. I think it's the two below us that are going to be the issue. But we put ourselves in a really, really good place now. We've got one, two, three, four, five games to go. We can afford now, we know, to lose one of those. Uh, we have to play Umea at home that's going to be an important one that's probably when we're going to come back but we if if the gap opens up a bit more we'll come back when we can actually win the league i think and and just kind of have a long episode and play until we actually do win it um okay guys uh i hope you enjoyed that i certainly did um make sure if you have enjoyed that if this is your first video why not start start at the start that's where most people start um Go back, back, go back down to episode one. It's been a really fun save. There's been some nice little st bits and pieces that uh, have, uh, have sort of cropped up and been given to me by the the actual Gotney IF club. Some photographs, a little bit of a video on one of the uh, one of the episodes that one of their staff sent through to me. So it's a few bits and pieces to have a look at if if you haven't done that already. But uh, please, if you did enjoy that, please like the video. Please subscribe if if you are new. Uh, hit the notification bell that will always be helpful if you want to see my videos pop up in your your notification box don't forget I also the creator showcase and the creator news which are um, my most popular videos that I do um, so yeah go and check those out and I'll see you next time leave a comment as well make sure you leave a comment uh, favorite type of footwear mm, interesting question for the day okay guys I'll see you uh, next time goodbye